my name is Julia Indichova. I'm the author of The Fertile Female and Inconceivable and the founder of FertileHeart.com, an online fertility and parenting resource since 1997. I also developed an original mind-body program, The Fertile Heart Ovum Practice, which has helped bring thousands of babies into the world, often after years of failed medical treatment. When unexplained infertility is the lucky hand you've been dealt. I know what you might be thinking after reading the title of this video because I hear it from women in my workshops all the time. The most common response to the diagnosis of unexplained infertility is if only they could find something wrong then they would fix me and all would be well. Or lately as the competition for patients escalates, what I hear from some, only some, reproductive endocrinologists is unexplained infertility. It doesn't exist. We here at OMDA, that stands for Omnipotent Medical Deity Associates, we guarantee to find two or three fine reasons why you're not getting pregnant, and we'll take care of you and give you the baby you can't get at that other inferior clinic. Before we go any further, I just want to make clear that thorough testing is of course an important part of any diagnostic process and you should not skip it. What's more, you should educate yourself about some tests that are most commonly omitted from the infertility workup that might be useful. We have lots of information about that on Fertile Heart. But if you've been hanging out in the infertility neighborhood even for a short time, you must already know that pointing to this or that cause of your difficulty and fixing it doesn't necessarily lead to babies. Each month in my workshops, I meet women who have been told their lining was the problem, so they're given progesterone. The fibroid was in the wrong place, so they have it removed. Uh, their estrogen levels were just slightly off, so they are given estrogen patches, five years worth of estrogen patches with IUIs. And if that doesn't work, they move on to two, three, four, 10 IVF cycles. So why is unexplained infertility such a lucky hand? To me, unexplained infertility simply means that whatever it is that's blocking conception has not yet manifested in your body in a way that could be detected by the common battery of tests. And why is that such good news? because you might be given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to repair latent depletion on a physical, emotional, spiritual level, which, if ignored, could lead to much more serious health issues later in life. And there is something else about unexplained infertility that to me is good news. It's one of the diagnoses that makes it startlingly clear that we are more than a collection of well-designed organs. I remember years ago, I interviewed one of the top reproductive endocrinologists in the world. And he said to me, you know, I can have the highest quality embryo and I cannot be sure that there will be a baby at the end of the treatment. At best, he said, I have a 60% marker of predictability. There is something about conception and birth that remains unexplainable. Yes, even after we take our iodine supplements for our sluggish thyroid and throw out the last crumb of wheat and pledge loyalty to gluten-free living and load up on DHEA and clear up our liver and kidney stagnation and increase our chi and the medicine still doesn't always get to 
where the trouble is. No matter what breakthrough procedure we read about in the next press release, the truth is that after decades of research and billions and billions of dollars spent, something about creation of life remains a mystery. What's unique about the Fertile Heart Practice is that it allows us to engage and be guided by that mystery and to live our way into the answers. The tools of the practice can encourage your body to reveal secrets that might not only be stopping conception, but could be stopping you from living a fulfilling, fertile life. And that, to me, is good news.